We saw uh, how to work with EB's uh, Elastic Beanstalk from the AWS console. In this video, we are going to see how to work with Elastic Beanstalk from the CLI. So if you are using the Beanstalk for the first time, you will see this page when you select Beanstalk from the console menu. And what we are going to do now is install EBCLI. So I'm inside a Mac machine and you could be on a Linux or Windows and it will have different steps. So what I'm going to do for Mac is uh, run this command. Brew install AWS EBCLI and I'm assuming you have the homebrew package manager installed on your Mac. So now we have installed the Elastic Beanstalk CLI. So now let's go back to our CLI. And over here, I have this application, the one that we used in our last videos, the Node.js v1 application that can be downloaded from uh, the AWS documentation. So we are going to use this application as our demo application. So I'm inside that application. What I'm going to do is run EB in it. And you make sure that you are inside that application folder. So first it will ask for default region and I'm in US East near Northern Virginia. So I'm going to select that. Now it's asking for the D application name and I'm just going to hit enter to select the default and it already detected that we are using node.js and it's asking it appears you are using node.js is this correct I'll say yes do you want to set up SSH for your instance I'll say yes and it already detected the key pair that is in my account and I'll select that one or you could select two to create a new pair and application is now initialized so now we have created our application we haven't created any environment so let's go to the actual folder inside which the application is and see what's going on there so once you go to that folder you'll see that that application has a new folder called dot elastic beanstalk and it has a config.yaml file and we'll open that and it was created by our EB init step. We didn't create it. Uh, so it has all the options that we selected. The environment is null currently. And once we create environment, it will be changed. And the other options that we entered are over here. So this config.yaml is created with the EB init step. I'm going to close this and I'll be back to my terminal. So now we have initialized our application. Let's use EB create to create environment. And it's saying enter environment name and it has already added dash dev at the end. So I'm just going to hit enter. This DNS CNAME prefix, do we, we'll just go with the default. And now it's asking for a load balancer type. Do you want a classic application network? I'll go with classic load balancer and now it's asking that to create everything the Beanstalk platform requires a service role which has access to creating Beanstalk and everything and we can enter that service role over here or let the CLI create it for us and this is because I'm my current IAM user the, the one that is configured for the AWS CLI as admin access so I can just press enter over here and now it is uploading our zip file to s3 that's where Beanstalk stores its data and now you can see all the actions that are being performed just like your console and all the logs of what's going on over here so you can see over here it's creating a load balancer for us security groups auto scaling groups for us so now it has successfully launched the environment and we can go back to our files and see if it was able to uh, populate the config file. 
So I'll go to the Elastic Beanstalk folder again and let's see what's inside our config file. And you can now see it, is popul it has populated the environment name. I'll close this and type eb open. So this will open our application in a browser and you can see over here that our application was successfully deployed and created. Uh, we can also go to our Beanstalk and see that our application was created, then an environment was created over here. Um, and if you go to configuration, you can go to modify over here and see that the environment type is load balanced and there are other CloudWatch alarms that are created where if the network out is greater than these many bytes for five minutes then you need to add one more EC2 instance and if it's below these many bytes then decrease the instance by one or decrease the total number of instance count by one and we will see this auto scaling triggers in our auto scaling section in detail so that's how you set up the load balancer and even for your console if you don't have load balancer set up then you can come over here click on modify and instead of single instance you can change it to load balanced now let's go back to our console and type eb so it will show us all the commands that you can run over here like eb health events you can see the logs the platform so what we'll do is type eb status and it will give the status of your application and it's always crucial to see this portion called status as ready and health as green if it's anything other than that then there may be some issues with your beanstalk so always you have to look for status as ready and health as green and you can either view it from the console or you can go over here and you can see over here the health is okay and there's a green check mark and if you go back here you see this uh, beanstalk is in green status that's how you know your beanstalk environment is healthy and running now let's make a change to one of the files so go here go to index.html and over here I'll just type v2 save and exit and now I'm going to do eb deploy so now it will deploy the newer version first to s3 and then beanstalk will pick up the files from s3 so it's deploying our new version to the instances. So it says environment update successfully. So I'm just going to type eb open again. And you can see the v2 version. So we have deployed the v2 version over here. And you can see in the logs as well new application version was deployed to running EC2 instances and the deployment was successful. So this is how you use CLI with Beanstalk and the main purpose of this is to automate your deployments like you can write scripts for creating Beanstalk applications and inside it you can create different environments and you can do auto deploys using CLI. The other way to also do auto deploy is to use the Java SDK or your Node.js uh, SDK, the AWS SDK where there are uh, functions or methods to create Beanstalk, deploy, terminate Beanstalks and things like that. So now once it's done, let's terminate the environment. So we are going to type eb terminate. So before we want to terminate, it's asking us to confirm the environment name. And this is the same thing it does from the console as well. So once we type in and if once we type in and when it's correct, 
it will start the termination process and you can see in the background as well and in our CLI that it's terminating the environment well it's saying updating your environment and then over here you can see the termination steps it will terminate all the resources it created like the auto scaling group the load balancers the cloud watch alarms ec2 instances everything that the beanstalk created will be terminated so this is how you automate your beanstalk and also how you you can use your beanstalk using the ebcli